hello viewers welcome to another section of my tutorial and today we're going to talk about a topic in applied electricity that is short circuit and open circuit now when you say a short circuit a short circuit is a node or is a branch connecting two nodes in an electrical circuit which has zero resistance so it means that if you have a branch in an electrical network and it has zero resistance we call it a short circuit when we say open circuit on the other hand open circuit is the opposite of short circuit an open circuit is a branch which has infinite resistance the resistance there is infinite that is infinity so let's consider some examples here and know some short circuits in resistors and how resistors are being short circuited so our first example we're going to talk about this circuit here so from the source once current is being produced current is like water or is a flow of electrons and resistors act like obstacles in their paths so if a current is coming and it meets or it sends an obstacle in the path it finds the path with the lowest resistance or the smallest obstacle so that it can pass Picture it like water. If, if water is flowing and it meets some obstacles, it diverts or it branches to the part where there are no obstacles. So if current is flowing through and as it is coming, it says that there are some big, big obstacles on the path, but there is a part where there is no obstacle, then I will choose to pass there instead of passing the obstacles, passing through the obstacles. So from this circuit, I can see that there is a node here, there is a node here, but there is no resistor on this branch. So this is what we call a short circuit. So now let's see if current is being produced from here upon reaching this node it will decide right now there is no resistor here but there are a lot of obstacles or resistors here why don't i pass here and come back then to go and cross all these obstacles no so if water is being flowing from here it will pass through here instead of going to cross or going to jump over all these obstacles so the current will take this path instead of going to pass here. So we see that resistor R1, R2, and R3 have been short circuited. So once you connect or you press your switch, current will flow and it will pass through here and go back to the sec to the source once again. It will not come here. That is what we call a short circuit. Now let's see our second scenario. For the second scenario, we can see that we have three resistors here. And for the three resistors, let's see. So we have this branch here, which is at the end of the resistors. So R2 and R3 are parallel. There is also a branch here, but this branch, there is no resistor. So we can see that this branch is a short circuit. Now let's see, if current is flowing, the current will pass through this resistor because it has no option. Once it passes through this resistor, it will come and reach here. It will sense that, no, there is an obstacle down here. It will also send this obstacle then it will see that there is a free part here so the current will pass through here then come all the way to pass through this place rather than passing through all these obstacles so in a circuit once a current sends a free part called a short circuit it skips all the resistors and go and pass through that short circuit so we can see that resistor r2 and r3 have been short circuited because the current will pass through and will come and pass here back to the source let's see our third scenario this is an open circuit so when you say open circuit it's having an infinite resistance therefore the current cannot cross this resistor because the resistance or the position is too high so let's see if you have this a current being produced from here was split some will pass here some will pass here but upon reaching here it can never jump through the air to this side so we say that the resistance here is infinite and the, the current cannot continue so therefore current will cease to flow through this part therefore the current will go here come back here and in that order because current cannot cross this side so the current will only choose to pass here and back to the source you get it so let's see our next scenario for this scenario we are having the source here at one, two, three are our resistors, and there is a branch here without any resistor. So we say that it is a short circuit. Now let's see why. If current is being produced, it has no option to pass through here. But upon reaching here, it will sense 
this resistor sense another resistor and sense another three parts so to say that no for me to pass here which i'm going to suffer pass here which i'm going to suffer why don't i pass here and come back to my house safely so to pass here pass through these three parts and come back so we see that this is a short circuit and r1 and r3 they have been short circuited but r2 is not short circuited so therefore current will pass through here pass through here. so the effective resistance of this circuit is only r2 r3 and r1 are not playing any role that is short circuit thank you very much this is the end of my video kindly subscribe share and if you find it very helpful please share to friends and let them also have the knowledge about short circuit and open circuit Thank you.